Hey guys, today we're going to give my car a sound system upgrade. I'll walk you through some very easy steps so you can do it as well. Let's get started right away. I got two cheap foam speaker rings. And for the sound system, I chose the Audison APK165 with the crossover box. The system has a tweeter and woofer separate from each other. I got the new plastic 6.5 inch speaker rings to mount a new woofer in. And I got some generic speaker cables which we will be cutting up. And lastly, I got some sound ending panels. To get the door card off, you'll need to unscrew three hex bolts and a few Phillips screws on the bottom edge. Once all screws are out, gently try to force the underside of the door card away from the door until the door card loosens up. After that, lift the door card up but do mind still attached cables and wires. Just undo the door handle cable to free up some space and get the door card off after removing the window switches or just unplugging them. One of the window switch connectors comes loose in a way I've never seen before. So just copy what I did and it's easy once you understand the mechanism. After this, we're going to put the door card somewhere safe. And next up is drilling out three rivets holding in the factory plastic speaker ring. I used an 8mm drill bit, but anything between 7 or 10mm will work just fine. Once the third rivet is drilled out, the whole speaker can be removed. You can see mine were really damaged throughout the years of use. Explaining it this way through a schematic view is much easier to understand. You'll see it's really about cutting some wires and crimping on new connectors. First, you're going to cut the existing wires as close to the connector as possible. Now we're going to crimp on the new speaker connectors. This is where the generic speaker cables come in handy. Once they are crimped on, simply connect the new tweeter and woofer. It will look similar to this. Since my tweeters come with the crossover box, I crimp those wires on instead. The box has its own speaker connectors. I removed the white insulation material that has been put on from the factory. It was torn and it will be replaced anyways. The sound ending materials should be applied in the inside of the door, behind the speaker itself and on large areas to counteract vibrations and echoes. Once the inside has a few panels, use the remaining panels to close off a few big holes to mimic a subwoofer box enclosure. I connected the new woofer and tweeter and attached them on the new plastic rings. After that I riveted them back on the door. Let's slap on some foam rings, put back the door card and crank up the volume to listen how it sounds. Keep in mind, this audio demonstration is just to give you an idea. In real life it will sound much more amazing and the result will now heavily depend on the speakers you're listening from. But anyways, enjoy, thanks for watching and follow me on Instagram.